what's up all right just got a few new bottles today they are theodorus calotinis um interesting um great guy he's the name he's the brand and the perfumer he makes his own perfumes um from the greek island of crate he was just a little fella who liked the smell around the island so i guess he just didn't really stop and yeah i like it when it's when the brand is the perfumer you know because many brands all the big designer brands and many of the niche brands they 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 mix all their bloody perfumers so you can buy a bloody gucci perfume and it's got the same perfumer as a nishan or something so it's like what makes the brand a brand interesting stuff you know what i'm saying anyway i'll get right into it first up oh, i won't start with that i'll start with this this is the jasmine of athens which i've tried before i got a little sample of this a while ago and I wore it to bed and I was blown away. Um, first off, the name just had me interested. I read it as Jasmine of Athens, as in a lady named Jasmine from Athens, which I thought was weird. You know, Jasmine, that's not a Greek name. Um, so I had this like mysterious image of this lady, Jasmine, living in Athens. But then I was like, oh, wait, that's Jasmine, as in Jasmine the flower. Um yeah, let's get right into it. So this is what made me buy the rest of these. Um, I smelled this. I was like, holy shit. That is a unique smell. I want to uh, see what else he can do. All right, so that smell. The first thing I thought is that shit smells expensive. It is opulent. It is... I imagine uh, my lady Jasmine going to a a ball in Athens, you know, to discuss stoicism and fucking classical music. She's wearing her white gown and she's wearing this and she smells how she looks. It's almost like it's ethereal. It smells it smells like a flower in outer space um, that's just been reduced to its oil. And it's just one note. But that note is not from this world. It's really nice. It just, it doesn't change. You know, the first spray smells the same as it does when it settles. The top and the base. It smells, it's kind of flowery. If I have to describe it, it's flowery with a lactonic, you know, milky sort of note to it. And someone else described it with this, and it's kind of accurate. I can smell it now. It's a candied banana. But you're not getting a bit of this, a bit of that, bit of this. It's like a solid, if that makes sense. And it's a really nice solid. Um, it says it's unisex. Uh, I wouldn't wear this in public. It's very feminine, I think. But really nice for bed. Um, all right, let me refresh my nose. Get some socks, some clean socks. All right, next up. Um, I'll leave that one for last. I'll do this one. Plumeria. This is a feminine scent. All the way, I think. smells flowers realistic I think Fragipani is a note in there so that's interesting a little bit of grass it's just a realistic flower scent in my belief um, kind of soapy um, I don't know it doesn't smell elegant or oh 
complex or anything like that. It's soft. It is soft. There's nothing harsh about it, which is nice, but it doesn't do much for me. Um, it's a disappointment. All right, mentor. This is the one. One of the more popular uh, perfumes in the line. These are all EDP, by the way, as you'd expect from a artisan. You know, okay, so I've smelled this three times today. I've, I've worn it today. And each time I've got very different impressions. My first impression was sandalwood spicy, kind of like a Santel, which is probably the scent that got me into all of this shit. Um, the second time I got the strong cola smell, which I associate with kind of the vanilla ambery fragrances like Enigma. It really reminded me of Enigma, which is obviously a very regarded scent. Not my favourite, but it's a good scent. This time I'm smelling the grassy vetiva sort of notes. I'm not smelling leather or anything like that, but it's... It's masculine or strong woman shit, you know? Strong, independent woman. But probably masculine. It's a nice scent. It's got... It's, it's soft and it's delicate, but it's got, you know, those kind of ropey... Spice... Amber... It's so like strong notes, but it's very delicate. It's a good fragrance. It's really good. And I sprayed it probably about five hours ago. I can't smell it really anymore, but I, I could smell it for a while. And I that's long for my skin. So that mentor is definitely the standout. I will, it's signature fragrance sort of stuff, you know, very distinct. And I think it's the sort of fragrance people be like, what, what the fuck is that? in a good way or maybe a bad way so yeah got that cola coming through now i think it's amber vanilla sandalwood fuck this schnoz was made for sniffing eh yeah good fragrance thanks for watching um i look forward to trying some more of the line by theodorus especially the coffee addicts that's the i think that's the flagship sort of Frag. Um, anyway, peace.